After high school, Emily plans on attending Texas A&M to make her six to minor in German. Emily feels honored to be standing next to all our fellow nominees, and she wants to thank Cody Thompson, high school for teaching her on a bouncy life and studies activities in free time. This is Emily Camacho. Mackenzie Porch. Mackenzie is the daughter of Tom and Pamela Porch. She is being escorted to Sydney by her father, Tom. Mackenzie is the team captain of our very own Crimson Cadillacs and has been on the team for three years. She's an active participant in Pat and she is a true While attending concerts, she has received numerous awards in dance and academic. Mackenzie attends the Church of Christ where she helps out in the children's ministry is very involved with youth ministry. In her free time, she loves to dance, go running, take pictures, and hang out with her family and friends. She plans on attending Texas Tech with Texas A&M after graduation to pursue a career in social work. Mackenzie would like to thank all of you for this amazing experience. It feels an honor to be known. Miss Mackenzie Porch. He's being escorted this evening by his mother, Cindy Jones. Connor has been playing high school football for the past four years and has been on the varsity team for the last two years. He is the founder and president of the Thompson's Robotics Team with a membership of over 100 students and is an active team club member. He's in the top five for 10% of his class and has been a member of the National Honor Society for the last three years. In his sophomore year, he was a student council parliamentarian where he fell in love with the political scene. Connor is currently a member of the Congressional Youth Advisory Council for U.S. Congressman Pete Olson and had an essay published in the March 24, 2015 Congressional Record. When Connor is not studying or playing football, he enjoys kickball, hunting, fishing, weightlifting, and keeping up with the political scene. After high school, Connor plans on attending either the United States Naval Academy or Texas A&M University to major in mechanical engineering. His long-term goal is to run for political office. Connor feels honored to be a part of the first inaugural homecoming tour. He wants to thank Mr. Grisdale and all the teachers and staff for making this a great high school experience. Mr. Connor Devlin. Andy Yee. Andy is the son of Scott Yee and Jane Nyan. He is being escorted this evening by his mother, Jane Nyan. Not only is Andy in the top 10 of his class, he is also a National Merit Scholarship semifinalist. He has been on the UIL Academics and Academic Decathlon team in all three years while attending concerts. And Andy is not focusing on his studies, he devotes his time to his music. He has been a student leader in the band and jazz ensemble all three years while at Thompson. And he has also been named a two-time area band tenor saxophonist as a member of the Jazz Tenor Saxophonist 2015 All-Regional Team. And he loves marching the band with his friends and loves being with his family. After high school, he's going to attend a college and major in mechanical engineering. He is honored to be nominated this year and is enjoying the memories he's making that will last a lifetime. Andy Yee. <laughs> Cecily Garcia. <laughs> Cecily is the daughter of Rick Garcia and Patricia Serrato. She is being escorted tonight by her father, Rick Garcia. Cecily has been involved with the Thompson Theater Company for three years. She has been part of five productions in the last three years and can't wait to be a part of it. Cecily loves working with children and volunteers for the March of Dimes and the Children's Festival. In her free time, she loves to practice her acting and singing skills and loves to hang out with her family and friends. She plans on attending the University of Houston next fall to pursue a career in teaching. Her dream job is to become a theater teacher like our very own Mrs. Maggie Rodriguez. Cecily feels honored and blessed to be a part of this year's homecoming tour. Her experience at O.D. Thompson has helped her to grow as a person. Miss Cecily Garcia. <laughs> Julie Kim. <laughs> Julie is the daughter of Peter and Grace Kim. She is being escorted this evening by her brother, Brian Kim. Julie has dedicated her four years of high school to the marching band. She has been a student leader for one year and an officer for two years while in band. Julie attends Soul Baptist Church where she dedicates her time as an Awana leader and a praise teacher. When she's not practicing her instruments, she loves to do Taekwondo, listen to music, work at Kokohoto Cafe, and spend time with her family and friends. After graduation, she plans on attending Texas State to study business. 
Julie is honored to be nominated and wants to thank her fellow classmates for making Tompkins a fun learning experience. Miss Julie Kim. Leonardo Garcia. Leo is the son of Leonardo Garcia and Marcelo Martinez. He is being escorted tonight by his mother, Marcelo Martinez. While attending Tompkins, Leo has been involved in many activities. He is a part of Theater Science Olympiad, National Honor Society, and UIL Academics. During his time at Tompkins, he has received numerous awards for all his hard work and dedication. He has received the AP Scholar Distinction Award, International Student Designer Superior Rating, and Academic Achievement in Theater, second place on the Regional Science Olympiad team, and an honorable mention, all-star cast for a UI, UIL one-act play. Leo is also in the top 10 of his class. His leadership roles include President of the Tompkins Theater Cup, Company Treasurer for Science Olympiad, Manager of the company sports team and founder and officer of the Democrats at Thompson's High School. After high school, Leo plans on attending John Hopkins University or the University of Texas to major in chemical or biological biomedical engineering. Leo is honored to be standing next to his fellow nominee and to be lucky to be a part of Thompson's High School, a school that recognizes intelligence, hard work, and character. Mr. Leonardo Garcia. Michael he is being escorted this evening by his mother, Melissa Lynn. If you've ever gone to see one of our theater productions, you would have seen Michael performing. He is heavily involved in our theater program where he has served as an officer for the past three years. He is also a two-time state champion for the German Duet Acting Award in theater. Michael has held an officer's position in the German club for the past three years while at Thompson has received the most outstanding student award for AP American History and is currently in the top 10% of the 2016 Thompson class. In his free time, he loves to read books and watch college football and follow the political scene. Michael plans on attending either the University of Arkansas or the University of Texas at all. Michael is honored to be a part of the 2016 class. Home to the board and stands proudly next to all the other candidates. Mr. Michael Lennon. Kayla Hoover. And Kayla is the daughter of Dan and Alyssa Hoover. She's being escorted this evening by her father, Dan Hoover. But Kayla has been a Tompkins varsity cheerleader for the past two years. She was a member of the Falcon track team and has received many awards for team leadership and academics. When Michaela is not cheering, she enjoys boats, water sports, working out, running, and staying fit. She also has a love for cars that she inherited from her grandfather. For the past three years, she's been an active participant in sports, which allows Michaela to go out into the community to help her. She plans on attending Sam Houston State University next fall with aspirations to go into law school. Michaela is proud to be a part of the first graduating class of Thompson High School and wants to thank all the coaches, staff, students, and especially Mr. Oberty Thompson for making this the best high school in the case. She is honored to be a part of this year's homecoming tour, Miss Michaela Hoover. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the homecoming king for the class of 2016 is Mr. Connor Devlin. Thank you so much for our entire court and to all the fans here tonight. 
We hope to see you all at the homecoming dance tomorrow from 8 to 11 p.m. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the rest of homecoming. Welcome back to Rogue Stadium, Katy, Texas. Patrick Creighton, Nelson Flanagan with you on Texan Live. About to get underway, second half. Morton Ranch Mavericks, Tompkins Falcons. Mavericks are at 21 to nothing in a first half that they absolutely dominated. The run, the run game has just uh, been terrific for Martin Ranch. Uh, Mr. Rake has not been able to get his pass offense working. Falcons have had a lot of difficulty handling the blitz from the Mavericks. Mavericks have thrown a few different looks at them. They've brought guys from both sides of the line. And the Falcons have just had no answer for that pressure. That's true. Martin Ranch will be receiving. Falcons will kick off to begin the second half from left, from right to left. The wind looks about the same as it did at the start of the game, coming in from the south. Not really heavy. Espinosa to kick it off. High end over end kick will chase the return man in about six yards deep in the end zone, and they'll down it for a touchback as Grant Nose thought better of coming out of the end zone with that ball. I'm sorry, uh, Darian Young thought better of coming out of the end zone with that ball. So the Mavericks will start out the second half first and 10 from their own 25. Two receivers to the left I set. Hernandez up the middle that's Dean and he got a couple. Elijah, Elijah King right there in the middle keeping him from only getting a two-yard game. Elijah plays that middle linebacker spot. Second and eight from the 27. Two receivers to the right. Offset eye right. Give us up the middle. 
up to the 32-yard line. Andrew Rodriguez was the one defensive tackle, was part of that tackling crew. Dartavius Dixon on the carry. Third down and three. Two receivers left, I set. Hernandez gets into that crouch. Keeps it himself. Left side, and he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. He's up to the 34 before he got taken down. Tim Thompson was the one rushing in there and making that tackle. Kept him from making the first down there, there at fourth and one. Fourth and one from their own 34. And they're going to go for it. They've won this battle all night long. I set two receivers to the right. Quarterback. Hernandez keeps it himself, and he's got the first down. Across the 35 to the 36. Hernandez ran over a couple of defensive players there. I tell you, he was strong up that middle. He third first and 10 from the 37-yard line, ball on the far hash. Two minutes into the third quarter, Mavericks lead 21 0. Two receivers right, I set. Hernandez with the pitch to Dixon. He spins away from a couple of defenders, and he's across the 40 to the 41 on a play it looked like he'd have been stopped for no gain. Parker Powell slowed him down. Brandon Pinkerton came in and made the tackle. He, he gained a good amount, almost five yards, though. Second and six from the 41. Mavericks not running with any tempo here. Two receivers to the left, I set. Hernandez rolling to the left, looking to throw. Stops, then Throws it down the left sideline. It's complete down to the 40-yard line as he finds Larry Anderson. A.J. Tatamy was there to make the tackle, but uh, it was uh, uh, long in coming because they were able to make that first down. Some nice touch shown by Hernandez on that ball as he was looking to throw deep, but the intermediate receiver came open and he found him with a nice little touch pass. Yeah, he squared his shoulders and got off a good pass. First and 10 from the Falcon, 40. Up the middle is Collier for maybe a yard. A whole host of defensive uh, players got in there. It was just about the whole entire line. 8.25 to go, third quarter. Mavericks with a 21 to nothing lead on Falcons homecoming night. Second and nine from the Falcon 39. Two receivers left, I set. Hernandez, the option out to Collier. Left side and he's cut down. Parker Powell again, Parker's all over the field. Made a good open field tackle there. Cut him down back at the 40 yard line. It's a loss of a yard, it'll be third and 10. That one seemed to take a little longer to develop. Two receivers right, ball on the far hash, I set. Fakes the handoff, here comes the pressure. Hernandez running backwards, back at his own 40, in trouble. Manages to escape again across the 50, onto the 40, flag on the play, he's across the 30. He's got a first down if this play stands. Hernandez ran 20 yards backwards and then gained a first down. But let's see what the flag is for. Hayden Smith and Parker Powell finally uh, chased him down. And it's going to come back. Martin Ranch has really had a lot of penalties tonight. It's 
15-yard penalty. Couldn't hear what he said the foul was for, but 15-yard penalty puts them all the way back to their own 45-yard line, third and 25. Now Hernandez probably needed an oxygen tank after all that running around. <laughs> That's good. He, he did a good job of getting free there. 20 yards backwards to go 35 yards forwards just to have it all for nothing. He had a lot of uh, he had a lot of his players coming back and helping him out, throwing a lot of blocks. Five seconds on this on the play clock. Three, two, they get it off. Halfback option. As Austin Richardson was looking to throw, had nowhere to go, tucks it down, gets across the 50, and tackled at the 48. So Richardson picked up seven. Hayden Smith, safety, came up and uh, brought him down. Now it's fourth and 18. Parker Powell's going back to receive the kick. But that doesn't look like, yeah, he's now, they're, now they're getting into punt formation. Coleman to punt. Good snap, high spiral punt, fair catch called for at the 22-yard line. 6.14 to go third quarter. Mavericks lead the Falcons 21-0. Falcons to take over at their own 23. All right, Tompkins, let's see you do something now. Get that pass offense working and uh, work your way down the field. 72 yards to pay dirt, 77 yards to pay dirt, excuse me. Pistol set, two receivers to the left. Mavericks showing a lot of pressure here. Rake takes the snap, handoff to Terrell right side, and he is, maybe he got back to the line of scrimmage. He tried to get to the outside, but Mavericks held the edge very well. Initial hit there by Elisha Fierro. He's been doing a lot of uh, corner work tonight. Loss of a yard on the play. It'll be second and 11 from the 22. Two receivers wide to the right on the short side of the field. Balls on the four hash, moving right to left. Here comes the pressure. Rake gives it to Terrell, who bobbles the handoff. He really did. Was lucky to maintain possession of that ball back to the line of scrimmage. It's about the fourth time the Falcons have just had trouble on an exchange. That's right. Third down and 11. Rake brings his team to the line. Pistol set, two receivers left. Takes a snap. Rolling left, fires, hit as he throws, incomplete, in and out of the hands of Terrell. And Rake took a shot to deliver that ball. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Number 46, Jabinga Adiarian was the man that put all the pressure and gave him a good hit. Adiron. Adiron, okay. Espinosa to punt. High snap again, able to control this one. Gets off a good punt, bounces at the 38, takes a terrific Falcons roll. Beautiful Inside punt. the 20-yard line, down to the 19. That is a great punt from Boy, Espinosa. That was at least 50 yards. That's a 59-yard punt. 59. I tell you, that's a good one. He might continue to go back as Was there a official flag? signals 
illegal block on the Mavericks, so that'll push them back even further. Balls will be marked all the way back to the 10. That is a tremendous field position swing because the Falcons punted that the line of scrimmage was their own 22. That was and the Mavericks take over at their own 10. That tremendous change of yardage there. Tompkins has got to start being tired again. Their, their defense is on the field all the time. Collier up the middle, spin move, pushing his way through the pile across the 15 to the 19-yard line. It's an eight-yard game. Elijah King, middle linebacker, stepped up there and made the tackle, but it was after an eight-yard gain. Second and two from the 18. Four minutes, 19 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Mavericks lead 21-0. Two receivers left, eye set, moving left to right. Hernandez keeps it himself on the option. Left side, he's across the 20. Let's see where they spot him, how close he is to the first. Elijah King again chased him down in the backfield. Elijah's got a lot of speed. They give him the 21. That's enough for a first down for the Mavericks. 3.58 to go, third quarter, clock rolling. I set, Hernandez gets into his exaggerated crouch. Handoff to Dixon, and got back to the line of scrimmage and cut down. Brandon Pinkerton and Elijah King again. Those two boys have really done a real good job up the middle of defend, defending that uh, uh, Mavericks line. But, you know, there's no, the uh, Tompkins defense, there's no stunting, there's, there's no change. It always looks the same. I wish I'd see them uh, do some blitzing or something. I set, pitch, Collier, right side, cuts it back, and he gets close to the 25 for running into a pile of defenders. Re leading that was the safety, Reed Riddell. He got in there fast. Kind of a tall kid. At Sorry. 24 yard line, it's a three yard pickup. Third and seven from the 24 as the Mavericks operating very deliberately on offense, taking a lot of time in and out of the huddle. I set. Pitch left side. That's Richardson. He's up to about the 30. Reed Bridell made that stop along with a couple of people to help him. Still got a yard to go. Be fourth down and short. As we've said, they've dominated in the short yardage situations all night and even the balls only on their own 30 yard line they're going to go for it. fourth and a long one from the 30 I said two receivers to the right pitch right side he's got room first down and more across the 40 across the 50 and down at the 45 Austin Richardson and a terrific run. Hayden Smith and Parker Powell finally caught up with him. I tell you, they did have a, a blitzing linebacker that time. Uh, the outside linebacker, Brandon Pinkerton, came in there, but he just uh, he was ineffective as far as making any sort of near tackle. First and 10 from the Falcon, 45. One minute, 15 seconds to go, third quarter. All Mavericks, they lead 21-0. Looks like a timeout. With a minute eight to go, this is Texas 6A High School Football on Texan Live. West Point Buick GMC has Black Friday pricing now. Let the savings begin. 
For a limited time, get $8,000 savings off MSRP on 2015 GMC Yukons. Even 2015 GMC Sierra 1500s for just $25.9. Huge savings and selection only at West Point Buick GMC. Easy to get to on the Katy Freeway. Exit Parker Cypress both ways. We look forward to seeing you soon. West Point Buick GMC. A better place to buy. First and 10 Mavericks from the Falcon 45. One minute, eight seconds to go, third quarter. Mavericks 21, Falcons nothing. I set. Ball in the near hash. Pitch to Richardson. Left side slips the 45. Mighty got a yard. Jordan Gregory was there to uh, just cover him, make sure he didn't get up. But he did. He slipped down on his own. Ball now on the far hash. Second and nine from the Falcon 44. Two receivers left, I set. Pitch right, Richardson across the 40, down to the 38. Elijah King laying on the ground still was able to uh, trip him up as he came by. Makes it third, and, looks like third and three, a long three. Richardson, who's normally a wide receiver, now playing running back, also listed as the backup quarterback. Third and three from the 38. And we have a whistle as time expires here in the third quarter. Mavericks 21. Falcons nothing. This is Texas 6A High School football on Texan Live. Come enjoy the heart of Katy, Texas, one of the most delightful cities in the Lone Star State. The best part? It's a short drive from Houston and minutes from the Energy Corridor. With places to stay and places to play, anything you'd like to eat, and an old town charm that can't be beat. Activities and fun for the entire family. Enjoy the best of both worlds in the City of Champions, Katy, Texas. For more information, go to cityofkady.com. Fans, make sure you log on to texanlive.com each and every week to vote for the Cavendish Player of the Week. Then tune in every Friday night into the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by Texan Drive to see who Courtney Madden showcases as the Cavendish Player of the Week on Fox Sports Southwest. Team switch sides, so now moving right to left. Third and three from the Falcon 38. I said. Hernandez keeps it himself. Left side. He's going to be taken down behind the line. Terrific tackle by A.J. Tatamy. Lost two on the play. It'll be fourth and five from the 40. Tompkins uh, seems to have a little bit of renewed vigor on uh, getting back there and, and getting through that offensive line. Mavericks will go for it. I set. Pitch right for Richardson, and they're going to string him out. Maybe he got a yard, and that's it. So the Falcons' defense holds. Elijah King back over there to knock him out of bounds. Now it's up to the Falcon offense to do something with the football. Eleven fifteen remaining in this contest. Falcons trail 21-0 on homecoming night. First and 10 from their own 39. Ball on the far hash, moving left to right. Two receivers each side, pistol set. Terrell is the back. Rake takes the snap. Looks to throw, fires left, and is it caught? 
Yes, they'll say at the 46. That's Peyton Powell on the reception. Second, Second long and three. four. Second and four. Two receivers each side, pistol set. Terrell's the back. Rake takes the snap. Here comes late pressure up the middle, and he is sacked. Back at the 42. And that time, Rake just did not seem to sense the pressure coming from the right side. Third and seven from the 42. Three receivers to the right. Rake takes a snap, fires to the right. It's complete. And up to midfield, good enough for the first down, is Will Shealy. DeAndre Allen was there to make the tackle, but it was a little too late. They, they did make the first down. First reception of the night for Shealy moves the chains. Be first and 10 from midfield, 9.42. Clock rolling, fourth quarter. Falcons trying to get on the board. They trail 21-0. Two receivers each side, pistol set. Williams is the back. Rake takes the snap. Now throws the swing pass out Whoa. to Porter, and Porter gets hit on the sideline after about a five-yard gain. So Porter to the 44. It's a six-yard pickup. He's second down and four. Ball on the far hash. That was a nice hit over there by Parker Powell. Pistol set. Porter's the back. Three receivers right. Rake takes the snap. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. It's complete on the far sideline. Shakes a tackle. First down and more inside the 30. Down by the 20-yard line to Chawanga. Chawanga's a big target. Yeah, and he was a little, bitty, a little bitty man was on him, number two. Number two just could not wrap him up. That's uh, Elijah Fierro. First and 10. From the Maverick, 22. Three receivers right. Rake throws left side, end zone. No touchdown signal, and it looks like it's intercepted. He threw that ball up, and it looks like it's intercepted. By Fierro. That was by Elisha Fierro, that's right. So he was looking for Chawanga again, and Chawanga, who had pretty much thrown Fierro off with one hand, this time ball underthrown a bit, and Fierro able to undercut it and gets the interception in the end zone. 8.34 to go in this contest. Mavericks lead it, 21 nothing. first and 10 from their own 20. I set up the middle is Dean. They hit him quick. Um, at, uh, number 81. Bryce, Bryce Washington. Washington was up there and got him right there right quick. Only picked up about almost two yards. Second and eight from the 22 as the Mavericks moving very slowly in and out of the huddle here. Hernandez brings his team to the line. Snap, handoff, middle, Collier across the 25 and up to the 30 with some tough running. That was Bryce Washington again. He's uh, really motivated there in the middle of that line. To the 31-yard line, that's enough for a first down. Washington is playing that right defensive end, and he, he was unblocked that time. 7.45 to go in this quarter. 
in this contest, 21-0. Mavericks lead, I set, handoff right side. Collier looking for room on the outside, not finding any, maybe he got a yard. Hayden Smith is right there, pulled him down. Hayden Smith's name has been called an awful lot tonight. And he's been all over the field. Second and eight from the 33. Two receivers to the left. I set. Hernandez on the option, gets it out to Collier, left side up to the 35. Ran into one of his own men there. I couldn't catch the number. I think it was 62. Uh, slowed him down a bit. Few tacklers in on that one, including Desney Burt. Third and six from the 35. I said, Hernandez comes to the line slowly. Quick snap, fires it to the right side and dropped by Aaron Solomon, who had a first down. Yeah, he had some yardage there if he could have just uh, kept it in his hands. They had one-on-one -on -one coverage with Solomon. If he could have shake, if he could was able to catch that ball and shake his man, he was gone. That was it. Yeah, he had he had 55, 60 yards of nothing but green. So Parker Powell back to receive the punt, standing on his own 32. Chris Coleman will punt it away for the Mavericks. Takes a snap. Very short punt. He totally shanked it. It bounces at the 49, and the Mavericks will down it at midfield. 15-yard punt. He Elijah, was lucky to get that. Yeah, Elijah Dean's the one that killed that ball on the 50. So the Falcons will have great field position here as they try to get on the board with 6.05 to go in this game, down 21-0 on homecoming night. Two receivers each side, pistol set. Rake points out the defense. Takes a snap. Screen pass to Porter, and he slips at the 47. Ryan Lopez was there to tackle him, but he didn't have to. Loses three yards on the play. Second and 13. Falcons go to the hurry up. Rake takes a snap, looks to throw. Fires over the middle, tipped and knocked away. Some nice defense by Darius Bryant. Yeah, that was very nice. Uh, it, it was formulating real well. The man coming across the middle, it, uh, as usually turns out to be a nice play, but it was guarded well. Peyton Powell, the intended receiver, third and 13 from their own 47. Three receivers to the left. Denny's got one-on-one -on -one coverage to the right. Here comes the blitz. Rake over the middle, complete. He's got Denny for the first down. Inside the 40. It's about the 37 yard line. You move him back to the 39. Darian Young made that a fine open field tackle there. Quick throw left side, it's complete. To Powell, down to the 39. Second and five. Two receivers each side, Rake barking his signals. And we've got a whistle, flag goes. Another situation where a lot of defenders seem to be ahead of the football, but were they drawn? False start. This is going to be against the Falcons. Every time they start to do something, they start committing penalties. 
So second and 10 now from the 39. 4.58 to go, fourth quarter, clock winding. Falcons trail 21-0. Two receivers each side, pistol set. Porter is the back. Rake takes the snap. Here comes a blitz. Hit as he throws over the middle and Ooh. incomplete. DeAndre Allen was out there to defend, but there was nothing there to defend. That pass was way over the head. Antoine the Bunton receiver. got a hand on it. <laughs> Third and ten from the 39. Three receivers to the right. Port of the back, pistol set. Here comes the blitz. Rake fires left side. It's complete for a couple of yards. And then fighting his way forward is Chawanga, using his size and his strength, turned a two-yard pass into about a nine-yard pickup. He's to the 31. It's fourth and one. Elijah Ferrero was out there again. Uh, they don't seem to wrap him up uh, very good. Three receivers right, pistol set. Rake takes the snap. Fires right side over everyone's head looking for Powell and incomplete. And to turn over on downs. Four eleven to go, fourth quarter. Mavericks lead it 21 0. Tune into Fox Sports Southwest tonight after our game from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School football wrap up show presented by Texan Drive. Join Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Madden as they take you around the city with all the week's football action. The Houston High School football wrap up show presented by Texan Drive tonight from 11 to midnight on Fox Sports Southwest. Two receivers to the left, I said. Hernandez gets into the crouch. Handoff up the middle. Big hole. And that should be good enough for a first down across the 40. To about the 42. Tim Thompson, the uh, right corner, was the man that made that tackle. Michael White on the carry. That's a first down at the 42-yard line. 3.43 to go, clock rolling in this contest. Mavericks in control, 21-0. Hernandez to the line, two receivers to the left, I set. Up the middle, across the 45. To about the 47-yard line is White. Five-yard pickup. Second and five from the 47. He was hit hard there by Carson Kennedy right up the middle. Still able to eat 55, I mean, five yards out of that. Two receivers to the left, I said. White is a deep back. He'll get the handoff right side across midfield and very close to another first down. It's enough to move the sticks. They'll give him the 48-yard line, first and 10, Mavericks. Texan Live is your new home for Houston High School sports. We've got three games on tap tomorrow for your viewing pleasure. Bright and early with an 11 a.m. kick at Cinco Ranch facing Seven Lakes. Also at 11, Katie looks for their 45th straight district victory as they face straight Jesuit. And then our nightcap features Umble and Barbers Hill. Texan Live, your new home for Houston High School sports. First and 10 from the Falcon 47. I set two receivers left. White up the middle, barreling through a big hole, falling forward to about the 40-yard line. It's a seven-yard game. Hit by a host of Falcons. I, they're, they're playing good on, on the line of scrimmage, but they're not penetrating. Minute 45 to go, clock winding. 
Mavericks taking their time to let time roll off the clock. This one all but over. Mavericks have absolutely dominated every facet of this game. Second and three from the Falcon 40. I set. Give to White right side, barreling his way forward, and he looks like he's got another first down to about the 36-yard line. Tim Thompson uh, just got him kind of in the backfield, a little bit into the backfield, and just hung on, it, but, the, but the runner just drug him about four yards. First and 10 Mavericks. They'll only have to snap the ball two more times. taking as much time off the play clock as possible here as Hernandez brings his team to the line with seven seconds on the play clock. I set, handoff Porter up the middle, picks up about three. Andrew Rodriguez in on that tackle, hit him on about the line, but he managed to eke out uh, two yards from it. You know what? Three second difference. Timeouts taken evidently. We'll get a timeout. No, they're just gonna let the clock run out Is that out what here. it is? They should have needed to snap the, the ball one more time. But both teams have walked off the field and now to the 50 yard line to shake hands as the clock ticks down three, two, one. And that is it. The Morton Ranch Mavericks defeat the Tompkins Falcons by the score of 21 to nothing. The Mavericks improve to three and five overall, two and three in the district to try to keep their playoff hopes alive. The Falcons fall to three and five overall, two and three in district, but have now lost two games in a row, well, have now lost a a, a terrible game after barely eking out a win. They had no business last week. Congratulations to Mavericks head coach Dave Meadows. That is his 300th career victory. So congratulations, Coach Meadows. Final score from Road Stadium. Mavericks 21, Falcons 0. Our executive producer is Burt Brocker. Our technical producer is Andrew Marthen. For Nelson Flanagan, I'm Patrick Creighton saying good night from Katy, Texas.